having identified their mission the overall strategy and critical success factors organization often review the internal and external factors that will contribute to their success this analysis is often referred to as without doubt this is swot analysis strength weaknesses are internal and opportunity threats emerge from external environment so this is the right option why not toc evaluation theory of constraint basically is a tool we use uh, in um, in our business operations to maximize the contribution generated through the constraint resource so this is clearly not what we're looking for what is brainstorming brainstorming basically is a meeting between uh, different uh, experienced uh, members of the management team they discuss different ideas they inundate uh with ideas and they come up with some solution so this is clearly not we're discussing balance score card review again is incorrect because uh, uh, a balance score card is a summary of measures that we use um, different critical success factors are identified and they do not represent the objective review of internal and external factors that may impact achievement of the strategy so this is incorrect these are the right option under which of the following condition is the supplier most able to most able to influence or control the buyers when the supplier would be powerful when the supplier's products are not differentiated when the products are not differentiated he doesn't wield power he doesn't have the power when the supplier's does not face the threat of substitute product this will give the supplier its strength he will be strong because his product has no substitute what about c when the industry is controlled by large number of companies then a single supplier will not dominate you wrong when the purchasing industry is an important customer to the supplying industry here again the supplying firm will lose their power when do differentiation strategies fail the firm's product appeals to different people for different reasons here they will succeed not fail the value of the firm's differentiation premium does not exceed its cost when it costs more for the differentiation uh, differentiation premium than the benefit then this will cause the differentiation strategy to fail that makes b to be the correct option why not c customers are able to see or perceive a value in the firm's product compared with products of other firms this is where the differentiation strategy will succeed the various rival firms have chosen different features on their uh, on which to differentiate their products so this will also help your differentiation strategies to succeed a c d will result in success whereas b is what will cause your differentiation strategy to fail michael porter identified five forces that affect profitability which of the following was not one of those forces existence of substitute product it was there bargaining power of customers barriers to entry but this wasn't there existence of complementary goods is a ridiculous nonsense term which of the following is not considered a factor that increases the bargaining power of customer much information is available to customer to compare and contrast features of all products on the market a shows customer strength one group of customers make up a large volume of the firm's business customers are strong buyers have low switching cost of changing products they can move elsewhere if you don't offer them their deal so here customers are strong customers are strong in a b and c the firm is unable to change suppliers easily this is from the supplier's perspective when a firm is unable to change the suppliers easily that is a factor that increases the bargaining power of suppliers but here we are looking for customers so that uh, a b c are right d is not right factors internal to organization that impact strategy and sources of strength and weaknesses include all of the following except marketing effectiveness is inside competence of management is internal innovation and product lines they are all internal regulations and laws they are not internal they are not among the strength and weaknesses they emerge from external environment amongst the opportunities and threats regulations and laws can be an opportunity if they are in favor and they can be a threat as well so d is it which of the following is not 
considered a factor that increases the bargaining power of customer. Much information is available to the customers to compare and contrast features of all products. This gives strength to customers. One group of customers make up a large volume of the firm's business. Customers are strong here. Strategic alliances have been formed with suppliers and other firms. This will give strength to suppliers, not customers. And several alternate suppliers of the product exist. That means the bargaining power of your customer is strong. Seize the right option. Which of the following statements regarding the existence of substitute products is true? The impact of substitutes will have more of an effect on the competitive environment of a firm if the substitutes are readily available for customers to obtain. This is the correct statement. There is no point we can disagree with it. When the cost of buyer switching to new product is high, the effect of substitutes on the competitive environment of the firm is high. The statement is in fact incorrect. If you just replace high with low, then the statement becomes correct. When the cost of buying switching to the new product is low, the effect of substitutes on the competitive environment of the firm is high. So this makes this option incorrect. What about C? If, the, if many close substitutes exist, buyers will have little choice of products and may be willing to pay a higher price for the products that are available. Again incorrect, if there are many close substitutes that exist, buyers have more choice, more choice, many close substitutes. So this makes this option wrong. If substitutes have equal performance and are priced at or below the firm's product, the competitive force of substitutes with respect to the firm is weak. No, it would be strong. When there are many substitutes and they are priced below, we're at our product. So that means this is our problem for us. This would be uh, the threat of substitute would be strong. So this is incorrect, incorrect, incorrect is the right option. Patents are granted in order to encourage firms to invest in the research and development of new products. Patents are an example of market concentration. Wrong. Patents protect you and the existing firm. So this is the barrier to entry. Not market concentration, not ex exclusionary practices, not collusion. Which of the following statements regarding the existence of substitute product is correct? The impact of substitutes will have more of an effect on the competitive environment of a firm if the substitutes are difficult for customers to obtain. In this case, it will have less effect, not more. Wrong. When, when the cost of buyers switching to the new product is high, the effect of substitutes on the competitive forces is high. Again, it's other way around. Either you need to reduce it to low, keep it high or reduce it to low and then keep it high. So they, they can't be high, high or low, low at the same time. Incorrect. Conflict. If few substitutes exist, buyers have little choice of products and may be willing to pay a higher price for the products that are available. It makes no uh, ambiguity is perfectly sensible statement. Right option. If few substitutes exist, buyers may have a limit on the maximum price that they are willing to pay and may choose not to purchase from the worm products if the price is too high. If few substitutes exist, they will come to you. They will come to you. They choose to buy and choose not to buy. This is wrong. This not makes the statement incorrect. It's all verbosity. The, the, the options are very simple. You just have to read these options carefully and you will find the reason why I select the right option and why I reject the incorrect option. When do cost leadership strategies fail? Buyers have large amounts of bargaining power in the market. So since you are producing at low cost, so this strategy, the leadership strategy will work here. Heavy price competition exists in the market, cost leadership will work. New entry firms are able to influence buyers to switch to their products by cutting the price of their product for a period of time in an effort to gain market share and increase profits. Here, since you are the cost leader, so here the cost leadership strategy will work. Buyers become less price sensitive, they don't care about the price and start to have brand loyalty. So even now you are the lowest cost producer, you get the cost leadership, but now the customers are less price sensitive. They are willing to pay more price because they are now more loyal to the brands. This is the situation where your cost leadership strategy will fail. Which of the following statements regarding competitive advantage is not correct? 
two major forms of competitive advantage are differentiation and cost leadership true if the total cost of a firm are less than those of close rivals then the firm has a competitive market advantage true cost leadership advantage may best be obtained by a firm when it builds market share or matches the price of its rivals this is true as well Uh, differentiation advantage may best be obtained by a firm when it builds market share true till point this point or decreases its price no increases its price so this is the part that makes this statement incorrect and hence our right option because we need to find the one that is not correct in the long run firm may experience increasing returns due to the principle of substitution it has nothing to do with increasing return principle of substitution means when a product becomes cheaper people will buy more of it and buy less of the expensive item the law of diminishing returns the law of diminishing returns states that an increase in the labor or capital beyond a certain point causes less than proportionate increase in production like if you increase your workforce by 10% your production increases by just 5% if you increase another 10% of workforce your production increases but this time by just 2% this is called law of diminishing returns comparative advantage on the other hand it's the principle we use uh, when we compare two nations which of these two nation is more efficient in producing one good or the other or two companies so basically this is not true as well it is economies of scale economies of scale means in the long run firms will experience a uh, higher return to scale as they increase their size they will be able to produce more output per unit of input employed this is called the economies of scale and this is our right option what is strategic planning it establishes the general direction of the organization correct it establishes the resources that plan will require that's the strategic implementation not strategic planning it establishes the budget for the organization again it comes to the implementation part it consists of decisions to use parts of organization resources in a specified way again it is again the implementation phase so strategic planning is establishment of the general direction of the organization where do we do we want our organization to move to which of the following is not an external factor that directly affects the competitive environment of the firm barriers to market entry it is internal to the competitive environment bargaining power of suppliers internal existence of substitutes internal political issues they are beyond a particular industry they affect all industries together see uh, which of the following is not correct regarding the best cost provider strategy the overall lowest cost in the industry is not a viable option in best cost strategies because the firm could not compete profit wise with its differentiation strategy component this is correct when generic products are not acceptable to buyers yet they still remain price sensitive to value they are receiving for their money the best cost strategy may work well correct the best cost strategy is a combination of benefits of the cost leadership and the differentiation strategy this is correct as well what about d the best cost strategy strives to have the firm evaluate and change its value chain such that it can achieve the highest cost highest cost for god's sake best cost and highest cost how could it go side by side uh, its closest competitors with quality differentiated product in an effort to obtain the highest profit margin so just because of this point alone highest cost it must be the lowest cost we consider this statement to be incorrect so which of the following is incorrect regarding best cost provider strategies d which of the following is not true regarding strategic plans various levels of organizations will implement strategic plans differently true continual reevaluation and revision of strategic plan is necessary true the process of strategic planning begins with the creation of the plan <laughs> this is wrong it starts with defining the firm's vision and mission statement not with the plan itself wrong strategic plans will vary by segment based on the characteristic of the segment absolutely right when does competition not become an even stronger force impacting the profitability of a firm 
various firm use various types of strategic plans here here we will have more competition this would be the reason that the competition becomes even stronger customers do not have strong brand preferences firms will compete competition will be stronger the market is not growing fast the firms will compete competition will be stronger d the cost of existing or sorry exiting the cost of exiting the market are less than the cost of continuing to operate mean it is easier for you to run away from the market hence this would lower the competitiveness it will lower the strength of competition and that's what we were looking for when does the competition not become an even stronger force right here in d when does competition not become an even stronger force impacting the profitability of a firm a market consists of several equal sized firms fight more fight more competition customers do not have strong brand preferences so customers can go anywhere so the firms will fight for customers more competition the cost of exiting the market exceeds the cost of continuing it cost more to leave than to fight so the firms will fight more competition the market is fast growing so i don't need to worry about my competitors everyone is growing so will i so in this case the competition would be less less fierce which of the following statements regarding competitive advantage is not true two major forms of competitive advantage are product differentiation and cost leadership this is true cost leadership advantage may best be obtained by a firm when the firm builds market share or matches the price of its rivals this is again true differentiation advantage may best be obtained by a firm when the firm builds market share or increases its price this is true as well then we are left with only option b if the firm manufacturing cost are less than those of close rivals then the firm has a competitive market advantage this is a false statement just because the manufacturing costs are less does not necessarily mean the firm has competitive market advantage only if the total cost to a firm are less than those of close rivals only then the firm will have a competitive market advantage so this is incorrect and hence our right option economic theory identifies two basic types of goods inferior goods and superior goods as consumers income rise a lower percentage of earnings are expensed on inferior goods while a higher percentage are spent on a superior goods correct overall strategies for achieving organizational mission would most likely match with the type of goods as follows cost leadership for superior goods for god sake superior goods shouldn't have cost leadership strategy wrong reject this option cost leadership strategy for inferior goods yes produce them as at low cost as possible lowest cost possible and differentiation strategies for superior goods this is absolutely right and you should look no further a firm is in heavy competition with a rival firm and its rivals are consistently able to effectively respond to changes in consumer preferences by making strategic moves in an effort to win over the buyers and gain competitive advantage which of the five forces that affect the competitive environment and profitability of firm does this best demonstrate not entry not substitute not customers bargaining power rather market competitiveness that makes b to be the correct option price discrimination is accomplished most effectively in markets with which of the following characteristics fairly distinct segment of markets where the customers can intermingle you can charge different prices in different segments so i think you don't need to look any further perfect option a is the right option the manufacture of a high priced car emphasizes the prestige performance and safety of the vehicle the strategy pursued by the manufacturer can best be characterized as differentiation strategy focused on broad range of buyers this is the right option the manufacturer is putting pressure on a specific aspect of its product prestige performance safety these are the broad range of motivations for buyers so that makes c to be the correct option 